In this lesson, we will explore how to enable refractive dispersion effects on GPU to create stunning photorealistic images at blazing fast speeds in V-Ray Next. Then, I'll show you how the redesigned lens effects in V-Ray Next make it easy to quickly improve your renders and add even more realism to your final image. In physics, dispersion is the effect where white light travels through a refractive object and breaks down into separate colors creating mesmerizing effects that range from a diamond's fire to rainbows and so forth. To use this effect in V-Ray, let's begin by opening up the Asset Editor and making sure we have selected the GPU Render Engine. Now let's go ahead and start an interactive render. Since we are focusing on the gym in this scene, let's also zoom in and draw a render region around it. Now we can see the gym's material nice and clearly. However, you'll likely notice that the colorful dispersion effect, or fire, is missing at the moment. To enable it, let's select the gym's material in the Asset Editor so we can edit it. In the right-hand flyout menu, under the Refraction rollout, we'll find the Dispersion Settings dropdown. If you don't see it, make sure that you have enabled the Advanced Settings toggle in the top right corner of the Material Settings, right below the Live Swatch Preview. Now let's turn on the Dispersion effect. Right away, you'll see that the render refreshes, but the results are very subtle. This is because the dispersion's Abbey value is too high. This controls the strength of the effect. If we lower it down to something like 30, the effect widens and becomes more visible. Let's continue to drop it down a few more times, so we can see how the dispersion changes as we go lower. For example, let's try some values like 10, and then now 5, and down to 1. Now, the effect seems a bit over the top, so let's bring it back up a bit and set it to something more plausible, around 25 or 30. Okay, I think that looks pretty nice, so let's go ahead and remove the render region and let V-Ray clear up the image for a moment. Now let's see how we can push our render even further with the help of some lens effects. In V-Ray Next, We've redesigned the lens effects to make them easier to work with so you can quickly enhance your renders. Go ahead and open up the Lens Effects panel, and then enable the Bloom and Glare effect. Right away, you'll see the effect applies to our render, even as we're rendering interactively. Let's also set the mode to Image and Render Element in the drop-down menu, so that way, the effect is applied to both the final image and stored in a separate render element. Now, at the moment, we're seeing glares appearing all over the jewelry, and it doesn't look very realistic. We can easily control this by setting a higher value in the threshold parameter, which raises the threshold for pixels to be considered as a lens effect source. I've found that a value of around 6.5 works pretty well for this scene, but feel free to tweak this to your liking. I'm also going to adjust the streak blur, as glares are rarely the sharp looking in real life. Higher streak blur values will widen the angle of the glare rays, making them appear more blurry. A value of 0.2 will work well here, as we don't want to overdo it. One more thing we can do to make our image more realistic is to introduce some irregularities to the glare. In the real world, this usually happens because of dust or other fine particles in the air or on the lens of the camera. This effect can be easily simulated by enabling the Use Obstacle Image checkbox and loading in an image from the Asset folder. For example, let's load in the image called Lashes Big, and right away, you'll see that this has an immediate effect on the glare, spreading it out further and blurring it substantially. Now, let's try out the two scratches images in the Assets folder to see what kind of effect they create as well. To modify the results even further, you can play with the size parameter at the top. For example, if I decrease this down a bit, you'll see as I continue to lower the size, that the effect becomes more and more subtle. I think I'm going to leave it on something like 10, which gives the image a nice and soft glare. All right, now you've seen how V-Ray Next's support for rendering the dispersion effect on GPU can increase the realism of your images while harnessing the power and speed of GPU rendering. In addition, the newly redesigned lens effects make it easier than ever to quickly enhance your renders without any need for other software. 